Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am going to have a very busy day. It is currently 9.45, and I'm going to meet um, someone from May Facebook Marketplace, is what I was about to say. Take two. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm a reseller. I love hunting for old treasure that's been left behind, finding it a new home, and maybe having a little fun along the way. You can follow my journey on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can shop my amazing clothing finds on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. And you can find everything else in my Etsy shop at Altera Vita Vintage. Facebook Marketplace. I haven't even had coffee yet. Um, I'm exhausted. I've been, I've had the, like a very busy last couple weeks. Anyways, I'm going to meet someone from Facebook Marketplace. She just messaged me. Um, I'm selling these wicker shelves. Hopefully she's coming to look at them. So hopefully she likes them and we can make a deal. So I'll let you guys know how that goes when it's done. Well, that went super, super well. That girl was so nice. I've heard like horror stories about Facebook Marketplace, how like people don't show up. So I messaged her at like 9.30 to make sure she was still, we were still good for 10. And she was like, yeah, I'm, on, I'm about to be on my way. Um, so that went very, very well. Wow. She was super nice. She was like, do you have change for um, a 20? Because I was asking 50 for the shelves. And she was like, oh, I have a 60. And I foresaw that I should have brought change, but I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't think about it really that much. Um, so anyways, um, I was like, I'll take 40 for him. Let's do 40. Cause I didn't want to make it like hard on her. Um, and she was like, I have 45 and I was like, okay, 45 it is. So I was asking 50, got 45 for them. And overall I would say great experience, 10 out of 10. So yeah, let's go to Goodwill and see if there's anything else we can flip on Facebook marketplace. <laughs> Cause now I'm addicted. <laughs> a freaking bust there wasn't anything in there it's, you know what it's because I've been going too much and I've gotten all the good stuff out of this Goodwill um, I've been in there pretty much every day for the past like week and a half that's what happens when Joe leaves me alone I just live in Goodwill so anyways there wasn't anything good um, I'm gonna go home and do some listings maybe um, I've been cross listing over to eBay um, <laughs> So far, no luck, but um, I've only been on there for a couple days and I only have like 15 listings. So maybe I'll get up to like 20 to 25 and then maybe I'll find like a Habitat for Humanity or something like that um, around here and we will hit that up. So let's go get some listings done, shall we? Do you guys watch Reba? Because Reba is like one of my favorite shows. Hi, Scoob. Oh, good yoga pose. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get these eBay listings done. Let's do this. I can feel it somewhere inside haunting like a drug I keep on wanting. There's a love that fits so perfect it's hard to believe. There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating and the air gets tired. So I finally got up to 20 listings, done. <laughs> Just have to convince Scooby to stop cuddling. <laughs> Scooby, mama has work to do. Oh, he's like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll go now. Um, oh, good yawn. <laughs> All right, let's see what other work we can do today. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up at Goodwill the other day because uh, I went after I filmed my haul video on Tuesday and I didn't get to show these things. So this is a print of a Norman Rockwell painting and it's just like this old timey photo of like a grandfather and his grandson and the little dog carving jack-o-lanterns. I collect vintage Halloween stuff as you guys know so this is going in my collection. I think I paid $3.00 paid three dollars for it um so yeah that's going in my collection 
And I got this little Christmas tree, just plain old Christmas tree cutting board, paid 99 cents for it. This is obviously for the holiday season. I have a little collection started of cutting boards. Anytime I find cool cutting boards, I pick them up. Um, I only have three at the moment, but this will be good for the holidays to stick right there with my collection. So then I found this. So there were several of these. The other ones had glass in them and this one doesn't. It's just exposed and I really love it. It's so beautiful. Like look at the detail. Imagine how long that took somebody to do. So anyways, this is so pretty and I love it. It's going up in my house because we have like a water ocean theme in our house uh, but I just really like this like script down here this old Salem I just thought that was so cool um, I paid two dollars for it so that is going in my collection as well now this last oh god everything's falling okay now this last thing I actually picked up for you guys or for Etsy um, the the only problem with this is, see, this is beautiful. There's no glass. It's exposed. This type of work is called cruel. I'll put it on the screen. It's spelled C-R-E-W-E-L. If you ever see this out, that's what it's called. And you can use that in your keywords. Um, I love this type of art, this like folksy kind of art. Um, the only issue with this one is, is the frame has chipping on it. Um, and it also has significant chipping at the top. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the bottom. Nope, it's just on the top. Um, so this top part has a lot of wear on it. Um, so I don't know if I want to reframe it or just leave it. Um, it's one of those, it's not one of those things where I can just like pop it out very easily. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of in there. It's professionally framed. Um, so eh, I don't know. I'll probably just sell it as is, or I may keep it I'll probably sell it as is. Somebody will buy it this way. Um, and truthfully, like this, you guys know, I love chipping and I love like, you know, things that show wear and age on them. Um, I think it adds to it. But this will be up on Etsy or available through PayPal next week. More thing I wanted to show you guys is this vintage out. This vintage Tupperware set, there are three of them. So they like go, they're like graduating sizes. So there's this one, this one's the largest one. Then there's a medium and a small. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. Why is it not focusing? Uh, but yeah, it's really cool, really cool canister set. Now I'm actually like on the hunt. I kind of wish this matched my kitchen, but now I'm on the hunt for the green, the avocado green ones. Um, so yeah, I've been on eBay looking for that, but these are available through PayPal at the moment and they will be on Etsy probably next week. So I hung my little Salem piece. Let's take a, a closer look, shall we? <laughs> Here it is. I think it looks nice right there. Obviously I want to like add more to this, but that's a good start. Um, I got this a while ago at Hobby Lobby on sale for like, eh, I think it was like $7. It might've been less than that. It may have been like four. Um, we have Scooby's little water bowl and dish. I need to wash that rug, ew. Um, <laughs> we have this little basket with this blanket that will not be used <laughs> ever because Scooby over here, Scooby, likes to tear up blankets so it's in that basket for a decorative use only so while we're over here i might as well give you guys a little a little mini home decor tour um so right here is my little console don't judge me i need to dust i know don't come for me in the comments um <laughs> we have this little like embroidered um oh what is it called an embroidery ring with a shell in it i got that little guy from I think a thrift store in Georgia I'm not completely happy with that little guy I'm looking for something to replace him something that's possibly brass hello can I help you I picked this guy up a couple weeks ago um, I really like the colors in it and it's so beautiful um, and I needed something to go in there so this you guys might recognize was actually in my Etsy shop. It's a bookend and nobody wanted it. So I, 
it was one of those pieces where if it didn't sell I was gonna keep it because it matches my decor so um, when I found myself styling this I was like oh I could use that right there so that's there this little cubby these are just like fillers um, I do like this little brass bowl I got that in Savannah Georgia for like a dollar um, I like that there and I like this but I'm not like completely 100% done with this little cubby um, so that's a work in progress. This right here, um, you guys saw me pick those two books up at the bins. Um, and then I got this little suitcase in West Palm Beach, in a Goodwill in West Palm Beach. Um, and I got these little like hangy faux plants from the dollar, the Target dollar spot. Um, these books came from the bins as well. Um, and then we've got this guy. Um, this was actually new in the box. It's a frame from like 1993, I think, or 94. Um, but that's the picture that came with it. Like that's the stock photo. How That's like a cool photo to have in like a picture frame. So I don't know that I'm actually gonna replace it. I think I'm just gonna leave that picture in there because I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, that's my little, my little TV area. Again, I know it's dusty and I know there's dog hair. Don't come at me. I live here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to make lunch now, but I did want to quickly talk about a few things. So as you guys know, I talked about this on Instagram. I've talked about it in uh, Tuesday's video. Poshmark has been just dead. I had one day last week or I'm sorry, one day this week where I made a bundle sale and it was like a big bundle sale. It was like two pairs of shoes and a top, no, a bathing suit. And it was over a hundred dollars. And then I had a couple smaller sales after that. But after that, it was crickets again. Cause I thought to myself, oh, maybe it's picking up again. Maybe we're finally over the slump and we're not, uh, and I don't know what's going on. It's very frustrating. So that's why I am doing Facebook Marketplace. I'm cross-listing to eBay, yada, yada, yada. I've been doing sales through PayPal, through Instagram. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys are doing. What platforms are your favorite to sell on? I have been on Mercari before and I had a bad experience on Mercari, so I'm not really sure that I want to sell on Mercari again. I probably won't, but any other apps or things like Facebook Marketplace that you're doing, I know somebody suggested OfferUp, which I'm gonna check out. Let me know what your side hustle is um, down, in the, down in the comments below. Chit chat amongst yourselves, because I think we're all like kind of in the same place where a lot of us sell on Poshmark, and unfortunately Poshmark is just not doing it right now it is not doing the dang thing and i don't know when it's going to pick up or if it's going to pick up again so i mean you got to prepare for the worst unfortunately in this business you never know when an app is just gonna like fizzle out you know things have phases you know facebook was super huge um like when it comes to social media facebook was super huge um and then all of a sudden instagram came along and facebook is still a thing but it's not like the thing you know what i mean um, so you just never know, um, and you have to uh, get creative sometimes. So um, I'm glad the Facebook Marketplace thing this morning went well because um, I was a little nervous about it. I, you know, I've heard stories about people, you know, not showing up, people just, um, you know, not pay and not wanting to pay the price you want to pay, people being rude, you know, yada yada yada. Um, and obviously you want to be careful with Facebook Marketplace. Um, I personally am not comfortable having people come to my house, but that's just me. You may be comfortable with that. Um, I, I'm not. Um, so we met at Dunkin' Donuts, you know, a public place somewhere with like a small parking lot. So it's not hard to find each other. Um, I messaged her when I was there and I told her what, what type of vehicle I was in so that it was easy to like easy for us to meet up with each other um so yeah i'm probably gonna continue to do that because it was pretty easy and i know it's not always going to be that easy but um it was a pretty quick turnaround uh, like i said i listed it um yesterday morning she messaged me yesterday afternoon and we sold it this morning uh paid eight dollars and turned it into 45 so i mean that's pretty good in my book so probably gonna keep doing that i'm gonna go eat lunch and then i don't know i may go to um, another thrift store. I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. We'll see. 
I am currently working on listing a couple more things on Facebook Marketplace. Now, the, the types of things that I'm listing are things from my Etsy shop or things like the shelves that obviously I can't ship. Um, so like small furniture, um, basically anything that would be a little bit more of a hassle to ship um, is on my Etsy. Sh it, it is still in my Etsy shop, but I am going to put it on Facebook Marketplace just to have like the possibility of selling it locally and not having to ship it. So, um, for example, that Noritake um, tea set that I found, that is gonna be very difficult to ship. Um, so I went ahead and put it on the Facebook Marketplace to, just to see how it does. Um, I'm gonna list a few like art pieces on there because art is very hard to ship. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to list on there right now. All right, so for example, these are not extremely hard to ship, um, but they are like two little art pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and list those on Facebook Marketplace. Um, let's see. I may list this guy. Eh, probably not. I'll probably leave that on here. Um, I may list these Pyrex dishes on there. Maybe this jewelry box. Um, let's see. Maybe these little canisters I might list, and then these little art pieces. Um, so yeah, those are that's just an example of some of the things that I'm going to be listing on Facebook today. I already listed this guy. Um, maybe I might start listing blankets, but I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that. I'm not listing any clothing yet. If I end up having like big bundles of clothing like that just isn't selling and it's just sitting i may put together a bag and then just do like a bundle sale i've seen that that's pretty popular on facebook marketplace i don't know that i i don't think that like individual things do well unless it's like designer like a designer handbag or a designer pair of shoes or like a coat or something like that might do well um but i've seen obviously like bundles like people will sell like bags of clothes for like 50 bucks you know what i mean so i might i may do something like that with like stale inventory uh but i'll keep you guys posted on that and i may do an entire video about facebook marketplace and like doing things through paypal and stuff like that if you would like to see that video just let me know down in the comments below um, so that I know that's something you guys would want to see. Okay, I swear this is the last time in this video I'm going to complain about Poshmark, but I literally just shared my closet and these top four um, notifications, that's it. That's all I got from that share. Used to, when I would share my closet, I would get like at least 50 notifications. I got four. Four. So that's all I'm saying. That's all the effort I'm going to put into Poshmark today. Let's move on to other things. So I am in the car. I'm going to go take a bag of stuff, a couple bags of stuff to Goodwill to donate. Um, I've been cleaning out my closet. So anything that's not like sellable is going to Goodwill. So we're going to go do that. I'll probably pop in Goodwill again. Um, you guys always ask how I find such awesome stuff. And truthfully, it's just because I go so frequently. Um, they put out new stuff at this Goodwill, you know, throughout the day. So obviously, you know, there's new things to be had. So I just go very frequently. Um, I'm very lucky in the sense that I have a Goodwill literally two blocks from my house, so it's like a two second drive. It's not even like a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's how I find good stuff. Um, hopefully they put out some new stuff because the past couple times I've gone have not been really great. So let's see how it goes. So far we only have two things. I got this. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this, but I think I might because I think it'll sell well on eBay. And then we have this, which is cool like hang pictures on it and like little cards it's only two dollars so i think that'll do well so i think that was pretty successful i got that wicker nightstand i paid 16 dollars for it i'm probably gonna ask about 50. um i got that little picture holder thing that i showed you guys and i also got a chalk Okay, so I got this chalkboard. I made sure that that wasn't permanent. It's not. It's just chalk. Uh, but it's like this farmhouse chic, very heavy 
chalkboard. So I paid nine dollars, I think, for that. I'll probably ask about forty-ish, forty with best offer. For that little guy, I'm probably gonna ask twenty to twenty-five dollars for that. Nothing crazy. I only paid a dollar ninety-nine for it. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'm gonna run in and get all this stuff listed on Facebook Marketplace, and then I am going to get the house ready for Joe to come home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Tuesday and Friday, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye, guys.